Assalamu alaikum dear guys. In last video we discussed about the plastids and its types. We discussed a little bit about the glucoplast its types then chromoplast. In this video we have to discuss chloroplast in detail right. Before we start let me remind you this acronym I D O N S S S F B ok. Remember this way I don features are special for biology we have to uh, discuss all the organelles according to this acronym. So, this is the introduction then it is discovery occurrence number size shape structure function and biogenesis. it covers all the aspects of any organelle. So, let us start with the introduction part. So, what actually are the chloroplast? So, chloroplast is actually a double membrane membrane structure it acts as an energy transducer energy converter where the photo energy radiant energy light energy is converted into chemical energy. Then this chemical energy is utilized for fixation of carbon dioxide to produce food right. So, in simple terms we can say that the process of well known process of photosynthesis takes place over here where carbon dioxide and water are combined are fused together in presence of chlorophyll and sunlight then the glucose is produced and oxygen is also released right. So, so, this is an anabolic process that means something is being formed over there. There is fusion of something then something is being formed. Uh, however, uh, the uh, in case of mitochondria the respiration takes place which is which is a which is a catabolic process where something breaks down ok. There is oxidation of food over there something is broken down over there, but in here in this case the it is an anabolic process something is being made something is being formed. So, in photosynthesis what happen actually the light is trapped we have to discuss it the light is trapped the light trapped light the light energy trapped is converted into the chemical energy as ATP and NADPH then these reducing agents are used for the fixation of uh, carbon dioxide for formation of food glucose. So, let me tell you one second point over here that is it is the second largest organelle after nucleus. Nucleus being the first one this is the second one in case of plant cells. So, this is about the introduction of it Now let us discuss about its discovery. So, when the discovery is uh, being discussed simply we will just name some few biologists over here we have N. Grew and Nt1 Leeuwenhoek who actually discovered and observed them first then we got Schimper A. Schimper over here who called these chloroplasts as chloroplastids chloroplastids and this Schimper had already also given the term plastids then there was one another biologist that is Mayer may call them as autoplasts because they produce their own food. Then Arira one of the biologists he actually coined the term chloroplast ok this is all about the discovery of it. Then let us see the occurrence because these two we discuss introduction then the discovery occurrence where it is found very simple in all plant cells all almost all plant cells and algae right and in one euglena as well euglena obtusa there as well euglena obtusa then its occurrence we are discussed about the number how many chloroplasts are present in different cells that we have to discuss over here. In case of there is only one chloroplast one chloroplast per cell where in case of cholerilla eulothrix right calamidomonas and eudogonium. We have just one chloroplast per cell in these algae. Then we got two chloroplasts per cell in case of one 
another algae is called zygnema right then we have about 1 to 16 cells chloroplast per cell in case of spirogyra So also algae then we have about 20 to 40 chloroplast per cell in case of higher plants higher plants okay so this is about their number then we have discussed the size and other things so when we talk about the size very simple about 3 to 4 micrometers in thickness and 5 to 10 micrometers diameter right so now we are discussing about the shapes different shapes of the chloroplasts so it is cup shaped or horseshoe shaped horseshoe shaped in case of clam madomonas right cup shaped like this for example this is colimodomonas or hair this is the chloroplast this is the chloroplast cup shaped ok then we have girdle shaped girdle shaped in case of velothrix you know girdle is something like a belt belt against the waist that's called girdle so we can make it like this it is something like the chloroplast right something like this spiral or ribbon shaped in case of spirogyra for example this is a cell we have like this chloroplast right this way and we have uh, stellate or star shaped star shaped in case of zygnema and finally in higher plants we do have all our discoidal in shape in higher plants we have well or we call it discoidal ok in higher plants so this is all about the shapes different shapes of these chloroplasts then we have to discuss the structure of it so let us discuss the structure in the new video okay